think Shane won the three-day event at Sydney a few weeks ago. Not on this horse, but um, he is he, he is a consummate winner. So coming in past Rod Winchester for the last time, the last competitor I have a sneaking suspicion is Shane Rose and APH Moritz. The halt and the salute is by a stallion called APH Coriolo. And he's owned by the Moritz Syndicate. 16 two hands high. And he's 10 years of age, this guy. That's nice shoulder in. It's a lovely trot. I'll straighten up. And that's a lovely medium trot. Very powerful. Very round. No mistaking that. Shane holding his hat on. Shoulder in right. Oof, a little rugged going in there. But he's got a beautiful shoulder in going now. It's going off like a little metronome. There's the expansion of the medium trot. This looks dangerous. Now he's got to hold the whole test together, but this is definitely dangerous. I can assure you the other riders are in the crowd watching this. this is a lovely extended trot a relentless powerful expansion across that diagonal he's collected very clear transition here we go with the right half pass it's nice enough doesn't have the cross that some of the horses have counter change He's away again. If anything, his left half pass is a good deal better than his right half pass. Round for the walk. Can he walk? When you've got this sort of power letting loose, often it disturbs the horses, so they struggle with these quieter movements. But that is a beautiful walk interpretation that Shane's got going. He's such a competitor. And there you can see the lengthening of the frame, the increased over track. He's doing a great job. Then he'll pick up the reins into medium walk and he's got a not jog, dog, dog, dog. That's always one of the big problems with picking the reins up and he will have lost score. They certainly lost a lot of the cream off that, what was shaping up to be a very fancy walk moon to, wow, what a shame, what a shame. He just, just overreacted there and uh, <laughs> Shane is cool as ever. Just has the horse back on the bit and cantering away, but that will have hurt him. Into the first of the two loop serpentines. When you start playing with this sort of power, that's where the big tests are. That's where the, the Olympic gold medal running tests are. But if they go fractionally awry and just, just get out of off the track a little bit, the disaster consequences are quite magnified and you can see that he's basically doing a beautiful test, but he's a young horse. Well, he's 10, but he's a bit young for this level, and um, you can see it just got a little... There's the flying change, done beautifully, looking for the medium canter. Certainly what Shane is doing well, he's doing very, very well. He's just having this test, is just experiencing a little bit of spillage here and there. Lovely medium canter with great transitions back. We're back into the two-loop serpentine again. Here we go. Shane's got that happening. Back around here. Counter canter. It's not going to fall apart there. It's a beautiful canter, very elegant. Judges will like this style of canter. Half 10 metre circle, straightening up for the flying change to the left. Beautiful flying change. This real expression wasn't just acute flying changes. They were very expressive. They were done very softly without any fluff stir in the, in the canter or any loss of balance. So I, I think those changes will have really scored. Coming down here in the extended canter. 
That's a very soft extended can. The horse leaves the ground quite magnificently. That's a wonderful jump. Coming down the centre line. And the halt. Salute. And you can hear the crowd responding to that. That was almost a wonderful test. Um, I, I think he just, just had a couple of flaws. Now we do have Adam Benson score on the enthusiast and he has scored a 57.2 penalty. So that has him in equal ninth place. So I think Adam will be disappointed with that. Adam had no choice. He had to have a go, had to let go at it. And you can see there with Shane, um, Shane was really going for the jugular too, so to speak.